Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I would just like to respond to Cherubim Church. You know, we made this video yesterday and this is likely to be the last video I ever make about this channel. And let's get into this video and I'll address some of the points made. Hey guys, this is Cherubim Church from OnlyText.org and I just got a new microphone a couple of days ago. So I thought I would make this video with my voice. Um, I'm going to be exposing Vessel Soul Defender, a guy that's been that's done two videos on me now. This is the second one I'm going to expose, and I'm going to prove to you without a shadow of a doubt that he is in fact a liar and a deceiver, <coughs> and he does it on purpose. So check check it out. And in this video, I would just like to talk about this channel, Cherubim Charts again, right? In which this guy made a video trying to defend himself in regards to my last video about his channel. And I'm going to show you that this video that he's got on his channel in regards to the Antichrist Kingdom, he definitely created this video and edited this video in such a way that he combined other videos in such a way to pay homage to the beast, no doubt. You know, and in this response video, right, he's trying to say that the reason that the name of his channel is Cherubim Church was by accident. Actually, it is by a complete accident. It's not damage control. I've said it many times uh, months ago on several different YouTube comments. So it's not damage control. It's actually the truth. Something you have yet to find. Right, I don't know what he was trying to say there. I don't know if he was trying to say that I've not found the truth of Jesus Christ or I've not found the truth that the name for his channel is Cherubim Church because it was an accident. I don't know, so I'm not going to respond to that and let's continue. Even if you look at the thumbnails on this channel, right, you still got Cherubim Church littered all over the thumbnails. So if it was a mistake or an accident, then why has he got them all littered over his channel, man? The thumbnails are, are littered with the uh, logo and the name because I'm stuck with it. I told you before, if I changed it, it would be a lot harder for people to find my videos, thus find the gospel because of the CEO or search engine optimization in videos on YouTube. That's why I did it. Right, see the SEO on YouTube, friends? Your channel will get found through the name, obviously, right? But Cherubim Church is quite a low search term on YouTube. Even if you go to Google AdWords Key Tool, Type in Cherubim Church, you'll see that it doesn't get many searches per month. So it wouldn't have a huge impact on his channel being found if he changed the name. And also, see when you upload a video to YouTube, YouTube analyse what's been spoken of in the video, the title, the tags and the description. And then they try and relate it to other videos on YouTube that are speaking of something similar. And I was unaware that the thumbnail has any impact on that. Maybe it does, but regardless of it, to have Cherubim Church in your thumbnail, when you know what scripture teaches about it, that it belongs to Jesus Christ the church, is absolutely shameful. Shameful. Has nothing to do with Satanism or Cherubim, the, um, the fallen angel. Besides, why do you pick Lucifer alone as the cherub? There's several different cherubs in heaven right now. Why don't you pick one of the other four? You could pick any one of them. It's absolutely irrelevant because the church does not belong to any cherub. The church belongs to Jesus Christ. And I'm not ignorant of the devices of Satan. Satan is the type of being that would claim that he owns the church. That's why. No holy cherub would ever claim that they own the church when the church belongs to Jesus Christ. So to pick any one of them is absolutely irrelevant because the church belongs to Jesus Christ. Simple as that. So, this is, I'm, like I said, said again guys, I'm going to expose this guy for the filthy liar and deceiver and railer that he is. I'm going to mark him and I suggest that you guys avoid him. And if you guys are subscribed to him or something like that, just avoid him, unsubscribe, and uh, that's it. Yeah, the thumbnails, you know what I mean? And um, 
Let's get into this video, right? And I'll show you more wickedness that's going on. That this guy is paying homage to the beast, and he's teaching that in Revelation 13:11, the beast in Revelation 13:11 is Jesus Christ, and he pays homage. He just said that I'm teaching that the revel the beast in Revelation is Jesus Christ, which I have, I've had a hard time even saying. Um, that is complete blasphemy. Jesus Christ is not the beast. Jesus Christ is God, the only true God that exists. Right. Don't be deceived by that, friends. See, someone says to you that Jesus Christ is the only true God, the only God that exists. That does not necessarily mean that that person has faith in the true Lord Jesus Christ of the Bible. And it does not prove that that person is one of his. You need to try the spirits and to see if they are of God, friends. You know, the Bible makes it clear that the devils also believe. And that's in reference to there is one God. The devils know that Jesus Christ is the true living God. And by the way, he definitely is teaching that the beast in Revelation 13, 11 is Jesus Christ. Go and watch that video that I made about his channel the first time. Again. And you will see that's clearly what he's teaching. Clearly. Through the imagery. He is the Word of God. He was the one that died on the cross for all our sins. He was buried and arose the third day and paid for every single sin of every single human being that's ever been born that or will ever be born. So to say that, to say something like that, you're weird. Right, I'm not going to get into the atonement theory in this video. It's too long of a subject. But I tell you something. Just because someone says that Jesus was crucified on a cross for the sins of the world, buried in a tomb, and rose again the third day according to the scriptures, that does not prove at all that that person has had faith in the true Lord Jesus Christ of the Bible. Absolutely does not prove it. And don't be so lacking in discernment because people say things like this, that that means that they are saved. Right, see if we look at 2 Thessalonians, it's in the context of the Antichrist, right? We see down at 2 Thessalonians 2.11, it says, And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Most believe not the truth. The, the truth is obviously Jesus Christ, the true gospel. And um, it's quite clearly shown here that some people believe a lie, friends. Some people believe in a false Christ. This is in the context of the false messiah, friends. And uh, Jesus did say there is many false Christs. And I tell you something, there's a lot of people on YouTube preaching an impotent Christ. A Christ that is not these scriptures. A Christ that does not save. And that's not the God I worship. The God I worship is mighty. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. See that? Sorry, I missed it. Go back. Give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. See how he zooms right into that life water there, right? And he's got the beast symbol there. Okay, so here's a video that I found of a commercial that's promoting the Antichrist uh, system and the uh, Antichrist kingdom. And it's called Life Water. And it has a 666 logo with the eye. And of course I'm going to get the verse that says um, that the image of the beast is brought to life. You know, life, life water, the image of the beast, 666, eye symbol. It's all related, okay? That's what I'm exposing. This guy doesn't clearly doesn't understand anything, and he thinks I'm somehow promoting it by showing it. Like, and this is here. Here comes the lie. Actually, he just said that I zoomed in on the picture where it says life water. He says that I zoomed in on it. Now, in the second video, in or in the second clip where he says I zoomed in on the Toys R Us upside down cross, that I did. And he compared the video to the original, and he saw that I did it, so he exposes that. But he doesn't show the original commercial for this video, and yet he claims 
that I zoomed in when in fact I did not zoom in here that is from the actual commercial they zoomed in on it <clears throat> so he's flat out lying and deceiving you to make a point right see the original advert the original advert does do the zooming in by itself and it was wrong for me to assume that he done the zooming in there so I do apologize for that because he did not do the zooming in but he did do it with the child with upside down cross as I showed and the reason that I said that he done it in that advert was because I assumed it because of all the editing going on in the video as I had shown earlier with this child with upside down cross they done the zooming in so it was wrong for me to just assume that I should have went and checked the advert to see that the actual advert done it itself but it doesn't change the fact that the video is full of wickedness full of esoteric wickedness and if you go back and watch the original video the video that I made the first time about his channel you will see that he is teaching that the beast in Revelation 13.11 is Jesus Christ, no doubt, through imagery. To make me look bad, like I'm an Antichrist uh, fanboy or something like that. And I find that extremely pathetic, so if you're listening, which you will be since you're subscribed, I find that extremely pathetic, unchristian, ungodly, and you need to repent of it. <clears throat> Before I forget, I also want to know, what is it that you believe? Do you believe that you have to believe on Jesus Christ alone for salvation? Do you believe that you have to stop sinning after you're saved? That you have to try to follow Jesus after you're saved or you're going to hell? Or what exactly do you believe in? Okay, I would just like to explain to people what I believe scripture teaches about salvation. How man is saved. And how I believe that man has always been saved by grace through faith, not of works. And we'll start off in Ephesians 2 8, right? Where it says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, nor of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God have before ordained that we should walk in them. So we can clearly see that man is saved by grace through faith, nor of works. But works are something that we should walk in by faith that God have ordained that we should walk in them. But these works in themselves cannot save us. But we should always be encouraged to walk in these good works. And um, I'm going to show to you that in the Old Testament, man was saved by grace through faith. You know, there's some heretics on YouTube that teach that man was saved by works of the Old Testament, but by grace through faith, New Testament. This is a false teaching. And let's go to the Old Testament. Noah found grace. Specifically, a man called Robert Breaker teaches this. He's a heretic, avoid his channel. Teaches that man was saved by works of the Old Testament. It says here, But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And then it goes on here, in this chapter, in its context, God warns, Noah about a flood to come and how he's going to destroy the whole world with a flood and in this chapter we can't really see anything mentioned about Noah's faith but we can in Hebrews Hebrews 11.7 I think it is yep go to it it says here by faith Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet Moved with fear, prepared an act to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is by faith. You see, Noah believed God. That's why he built the ark, to the saving of his house. His faith was accounted for righteousness. He believed God, and it was accounted for righteousness, just like Abraham believed God, and it was accounted for righteousness. The works in themselves did not save him. And, um, People need to learn this, you know, because people don't understand this, you know, like Robert Breaker, they try to teach the man was saved by works. That's just not true in Old Testament. It's clearly taught through all scripture that man has always been saved by grace through faith. And I encourage anyone that comes across this video to put your faith in the true Lord Jesus Christ of the Bible. Be born again by the word of God that liveth and endureth forever. 
believe in the death, burial and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ was crucified on a cross, buried in a tomb and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Believe that by faith and the true Lord Jesus Christ of the Bible will save you to the uttermost, no doubt. The true Lord Jesus Christ of the Bible that is, not this false impotent Christ that's been taught. And um, that's what I believe anyway, that scripture teaches about salvation. Okay, he goes to my description and he says that nowhere in the description does it say that the video is full of lies. And that's true because I have, uh, well, that's true to a point because I have the, um, instead of just writing down new descriptions every single time I upload a video, I have the YouTube automate the process so it's the same description for every single video um, unless I add something to it later which is like a link to a YouTube channel or something like that but for the most part it's the exact same description and it has the most important message of all which is the gospel but in the description we can clearly see even in his video it clearly says Cherubim Church is an online ministry during the end times exposing the deceptions of the last days using the holy text given to us by Jesus Christ, King James Version only. And then it says, you know, how to get saved, the gospel. So he is lying. He's telling me that I'm not showing that I'm making exposed videos, when that's exactly what it exp says, exposing the deceptions of the last days. Right, see that little section in the description area? It says exposing the deceptions of the last days. That does not necessarily mean that he's not in agreement with the deceptions. And also, it doesn't expose the deceptions, because it doesn't reveal a commentary, or have a commentary in the video, showing you the deceptions. You know, people have to figure out all these lies for themselves. That in the video, all the esoteric wickedness in the video is shown that the beast in Revelation 13 11 is Jesus Christ. So, I ain't buying that little writing in the description area. That does not help anyone. And there's absolutely no evidence that you do not agree with the lies in that video. No evidence. That's the whole point of my channel, to wake people up to the truth. And I cannot do that by if I don't show them where all the hidden um, secrets are, so to speak. Where all the references to the Antichrist, to the Beast, to the 666, and all this garbage is referenced. And he takes something so obvious and plain and twists it and why I think it's because he wants his channel to grow I mean he already has what 420 subscribers something like that and <clears throat> it's pathetic right I've been on YouTube since 2016 September well I had a channel before that but I only had it for like a month and I deleted that channel because I was not in agreement with some of the things that I said in the videos but as you can see, I've been on this channel since 2016, September. And there's not much content on my channel. And I would know how to get a lot more views and a lot more subs. All I would need to do is create a channel like this guy's. Talking about the Illuminati, Freemasonry and Satanism constantly. I would also talk about trending topics in the news. Match Bible prophecy with the news. Constantly throw out these videos daily. Eventually I would get a viral video, the subs would come, I would do this constantly as I said, I would lose a lot of subs, you know, because a lot of the subs would be burnt out in the sub feed and they would unsubscribe, however I would gain a lot more subs than I would lose, and I would become a complete sellout for the Lord Jesus Christ, I would also create thumbnails that appeal to the flesh. That's how you get subs and views on YouTube friends, I don't encourage anyone to do so. But that's how you get subs and views. No matter what, you don't mess with the New World Order. New World Order is this, and it's really very simple. So even if you're stupid, which you very may well be, you can understand. No right, see how he zooms into the child with the upside down cross here, right? See if we go to the original advert. Alright, and see what happens. Right, there's no zooming into the upside down cross, but let's watch the rest of this advert and see what happens, right? I am your father. 
And here he's going to be seeing that I zoomed in on the uh, upside down lightsaber cross thing, and uh, which I did, of course. But it just proves to me that he watched the original, which he's going to show you. He's going to show that the original doesn't have the zoom in. And of course I'm going to zoom in on it. And then I put a picture of a hand with the 666 symbol and an upside down cross as a uh, tattoo. So this guy is... <clears throat> I have no idea how his brain functions, but it's not normal. Definitely not normal. It's not Christian in any way, shape, or form to be going after people that preach the correct gospel. And I do want to mention that people who do this lose rewards, and it's pretty serious. And they are being stumbling blocks to new brethren, to unsaved people. Why would I put in, I am your father, in my exposed video? Of course, it's a reference to Star Wars. I've seen the movies. I've been a huge fan of the movies since I was a little kid. But why would I put that in? Of course, I cut it out. And I didn't cut out the girl smiling because it's an evil smile. And I didn't cut out the girl smiling because it's an evil smile. The whole world wanders after the beast, the Antichrist kingdom. And she gives off an evil smirk like that. Of course, it's satanic. She holds an upside down cross and she's smiling like that. Of course, it's satanic. It's not biblical. It's not Christian. Right, did you hear that? He did not cut out the girl smiling because it's an evil smile. Jesus referred to the kingdom of God as being like little children. And by the way, just because someone says that something is satanic and not biblical does not mean that the person is not in agreement with the wickedness in the video. That's what satanists do, friends. They will say that everything is satanic and on the channels on YouTube, they start teaching that everyone worships the beast and everything is satanic. Don't be deceived by this guy. Do not be deceived. See this awesome here? Look what he does with it. And this clip. All the world wandered after the beast. And all the world wandered after the beast. He used that scripture, right? He quotes that scripture. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. He edits the video to put this scene here in where it says awesome. Paying homage to the beast. <laughs> okay, so Toys R Us said awesome with three W's. Um, it, it, this is another proof that this guy is a filthy liar and just a plain out deceiver. He's trying to deceive people. Um, he's trying to get a channel views, most likely. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why he's doing it, but I'm speculating that's what he's doing. Anyway, I didn't write the awesome. Um, Toys R Us did it, and they added three W's, and three W's means 666. So that was just another uh, exposed thing I did for the video. And he's saying that I put the awesome in there to celebrate the Antichrist Kingdom. Even though right after that image, I show Hebrew uh, letters that show that it W means 666. Right, see how this guy does not even respond to what I said in the video? He quotes scripture that says, And they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. He shows the awesome clip. He puts in the awesome clip from the Toys R Us video, right? And then he does go on to show that the WWW is the number of the beast in Hebrew on the next scene. But he's still paying homage to the beast. Because it says, and they worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast. It shows the awesome. And then it goes on to show the beast number in Hebrew. This guy knows exactly what he's doing. And the whole video has been edited to worship the beast. No doubt. This guy is such a deceiver. Do not listen to him. This guy is... I'm 100% sure that this guy is deceiving people on purpose, and he knows exactly what my videos mean. It's right there, and, you know. This guy knows exactly what he's doing, and you're being rebuked in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You ought to repent, and you ought to get off YouTube and quit preaching your lies. Remove all the wickedness on your channel. No, you are being rebuked in the name of Jesus Christ, our only Savior. That is what you're being and you need to stop making videos stop making videos completely go back to reading the Bible learn the Bible learn how to pray 
and keep asking God for guidance in your life because this is ridiculous. Uh, the first video I saw that you made just made me laugh and then I felt weird and that's the only feeling I have from you is pure cringe, weirdness, it's just weird. Publicly denounce Luciferianism and then maybe people will believe what you're saying. Uh, publicly renounce Luciferianism? What do you think I've been doing this entire time? Like, what? what is this? This is so weird. Lucifer is a fallen, filthy, disgusting, crap angel that's going to burn in the lake of fire forever. The Antichrist is some guy that's going to burn forever. The false prophet is some guy that's going to burn forever. And who's going to burn them? The only God, who is Jesus Christ. The Word of God. That's who's going to burn them for all eternity. Is that public enough? Do not be deceived, friends, into thinking that that was this man renouncing Luciferianism. The Bible makes it clear, friends, that the devil knows that he's going to be cast into the lake of fire forever in the end. And he knows that it's going to be done by the true living God, the Lord Jesus Christ. And his angels will be cast into the lake of fire forever in the end, and they know this. Scripture is clear on that. And just because someone points you to the true way of salvation, friends, it does not mean that that person has put faith in the true Lord Jesus Christ of the Bible. Some people have faith in a lie, friends. Some people believe in a false Christ, a Christ that does not save, an impotent Christ is being preached all over YouTube. Be careful. Try the spirits to see if they are of God. Thank you for watching this video, right? And avoid this channel at all costs. There is no evidence to suggest that this guy has put faith in the true Lord Jesus Christ of the Bible. His channel is littered with lies and deception. God bless.